What's up everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 6 of the tutorial series on AWS HTTP API. So in this tutorial, we will go through the parameter mapping within HTTP API gateway. So basically, we will look at how we can modify incoming request parameters using parameters mapping in this video. So ideally, uh, parameter mappings are used to modify request that is sent to an integration or to modify responses from an integration. So whatever request comes in, if we want to modify that request before we pass on that request data to the backend integration, that is basically the parameter mapping and vice versa, whatever response is coming from the backend integration and we want to modify that response before sending it back to the user or the client, that is again the parameter mappings. So let's get started. So here I have this API that is HTTP API that I have created in the part one or maybe part two of this tutorial series. So here what we will do is we are going to create a new resource, right? So we can also configure the parameter mapping for our existing resource. Like we can configure it for first resource or slash test resource, uh, but let's do it end to end. So now uh, click on routes from the left panel, say create here we will say post method and give the resource name. So I will say params as a resource name. You can give whatever name you want and then we will say create. Now here as you can see, we have the params as a resource and the post method. So we are going to click on the post method. So right now we don't have any integration. So click on attach integration. Now here you can create and attach a new integration or you can choose an existing one. So we are going to choose an existing one that is HTTP hyphen Lambda. It means the Lambda function as the backend integration. So once you select that, click on attach integration. So now let's quickly look at HTTP API hyphen Lambda function. So what do we have there? I think it would be a print statement. So yeah, here we have added print event on line number four and that's it. So now let's go back to the API gateway. So now as a next step, I will quickly walk you through the parameter mapping. So here, if you see at the very end, we will be able to see that request parameter mapping is not configured. Response parameter mapping is not configured, right? So as I mentioned earlier in this video, we will look at this part and maybe in the next video, we will look at response parameter mappings right now to configure the parameter mapping. You need to click on manage integration from here and you will be able to see this option that is parameter mapping. So now let's quickly uh, go through the create parameter mapping. So click on create parameter mapping. Now here within mapping type, we will have two options. Uh, first option is for all the incoming requests and the second option is for the response if we want to modify that, right? So here we are going to select all incoming request and once you select that, you will get an option saying add new mapping. So here within parameters to modify. So it means that which parameter you want to modify. So we have three options. If you want to modify any header, right? For example, you want to modify the content type or content length or the encoding type. The another option that we have query string. So if you want to modify the query string parameter and finally we have the path parameter and within modification type, we get three options. That is override, append and remove. So here uh, append and remove does not work with the path parameter, right? So if we select path, the append and remove option would be disabled and append and remove will work with header and query string. So these are the three options that we get from here. And once you select that, you will be able to set the value, right? For example, you want to override. So with which value you want to override. So here we have many options, or you can also set the static value. And similarly, you can add multiple uh, mappings as and when required, right? So that's the high level of parameter mapping. Now, before we go ahead and configure this, let's quickly invoke this API endpoint and see what we are getting in the event. So for that, I can deploy it to manual stage that we have created that is version one, deploy to stage or else I can use the default stage. So maybe I will use the default stage so that I don't need to explicitly deploy the API endpoint each time I modify the request or any configuration, right? So I will quickly open Postman. Now here I will open a new tab. I will paste the invocation URL followed by the route name. So that was, I think, params and the method was post. Let's pass on the headers. I will say content type 
application slash json let's also pass in some payload json payload so we will select raw from here i will simply say message and value as hello and now we are going to invoke this api endpoint so we will say send and as you can see, it returns status code 200. It's working fine. Now let's quickly have a look at the CloudWatch logs of the Lambda function. Click on monitor, say view logs in CloudWatch. Now here is our log and let's have a look at the event. So here what we are getting is the payload that we have passed that is message hello and the header that is content type as application slash json here we are not passing any query string parameters so that's the reason it's empty right the raw query string is empty and then uh, we have the path so this is the raw path and if you want to explicitly look at the path instead of raw path then you can look over here that is path as slash params so here path is basically representing the resource name or i think if we have the uh, manual stage then it will represent slash version one slash params right that is stage name followed by the resource name so that's path so basically this is how the event looks like uh, right before uh, any sort of modification or any sort of transformation at the api level right now what we will do is we will go back to api gateway we will navigate to routes we will say configure and here you will be able to see the parameter mapping option so we are going to say create parameter mapping in mapping type we will select all incoming request we are going to add a new mapping so here the very first thing that we want to modify that is the header so for example now if we look at the accept encoding right this one this is the, one of the header so it says gzip deflate and br but i also want to add all right kind of asterisk so what we will do is we will say header dot which header so that's going to be the accept para accept encoding sorry let me copy and paste copy so you can mention any header like this that is header dot whatever header name that you want to modify what would be the modification type so i want to append one value so which value from here i will say static value and i will say asterisk now let's say i want to add another mapping uh, that would be let's say path and as i mentioned earlier uh, we cannot append or remove the path as uh, part of the modification we can override it so i will simply say let me override it so now uh, with which value i want to override so i want to override it from the uh, payload value right so what i want to do is i want to use this value as a path that is coming as a part of the payload so what i will do is here i get an option saying request dot body so if you want to use the entire body then you can select this but if you want to select uh, any key from the body then you can use this that is request dot body dot json path so json path is basically the key that you want to select so right now the body looks something like this that is message colon hello and i want to select the value of the message so what I will do is I will say request.body.message. So instead of slash params, the value would be hello. Now again, I want to add one more mapping that is for the query string. So let's say I am passing multiple query string parameters, but uh, I don't want any parameter which has a key test, right? So whichever query string parameter has the key test, that is something I don't want to pass on to the backend integration. So I will say simply remove it. So uh, basically these are the three parameters that I want to modify. But if you want to modify another header, let's say. So if I say header dot content type you want to modify. So you can click on add new mapping and select whatever modification type you want and select the value that you want to append or you want to overwrite it with or if you want to remove it, right? So right now we will move on with these three. Click on create. And it has been created and it has been deployed to the default stage. So now we are good to invoke this. Let's say send. So it's successful. Now let's have a look at the event that is being printed over here. 
so here we have the event correct now let's look at the modification that we have did let me click over here let me say added so the very first thing is the header dot accept encoding so let's have a look so here we have the accept encoding header here we have three values that is gzip deflate br and we want to append one more value that is asterisk right so if you look at the earlier event here we don't have the asterisk but if we look at the uh, post event then we have the asterisk over here so that's how the append works right now let's have a look at the path so within path we are overwriting it with uh, the body message so now if we look at the raw path the value is hello and not slash params even if we look at this path its value is hello and not slash params so that's how you can overwrite any value and oh the third is query string and we didn't pass any query string parameter let's reinvoke it again let's pass on the query string parameter so what i will say i will pass on some message equal to world and i will also pass another query string parameter let's say test equal to hello now what will happen is it should be able to pass on or forward this query string parameter that is message as world to the backend but it should remove test as hello right at the api level so i will say send it's successful we should be having the event over here let's wait it's auto retrying and here we go so now if we look at the query string parameter so here we have the raw query string which represent message equal to world but we will not be able to see the test value right so that's where uh, the query string or the api is removing the query string which has the key test at the api level because that's what we have configured and uh, this is the transformation that is being done at the api level so it is removing the test as a query string parameter and letting other query string parameters pass on to the backend integration right so guys uh, this is how you can modify the request that is coming from the user before passing it to the backend integration so guys uh, as i mentioned you can keep adding the mappings for the other parameters click on this and again for example you want to modify any query string which has a message as a key then you can do that you can select the modification type and replace it with uh, whatever you want Right, so guys, uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. And as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below. And I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then I can please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And see you next time.